I keep it on me. I can't let her cover unless that chopper on me. She said, I'm a shit, she gon' put it on me. You can keep this out, I'ma smoke this OG. Remember way back then? Family episode 28. Got a special guest in the building. Got my boy Bill. Finally showed up to Fresh Squeeze, man. Been trying to get bro on here for a minute now. If you have not checked out that last episode with my guy Almighty, make sure you go check that out. Um, thank you for the continuous support. Make sure to subscribe and we're gonna jump right into it. My boy Bill, man, what's going on, bro? How life treat you? Life treat me good, bro. Literally just got back into town. Uh, went to Houston for a couple days. Um, just kicked it down there. Just literally got off the flight, came to see you. Then I'm finna pop back to Bloomington after this, bro. Yeah, what you was doing out in Houston? Uh, Really, my pops just hit me like he was going out there for a few days and asking if I want to slide. So I just went to go kick it. Nothing major. I ain't really do nothing. It's this place down there called the Turkey Hut or something like that. Man. Oh, yeah. Craig. Oh, yeah. So jumping into this interview, dog, where did it all start for you, bro? Like, how was it growing up and just different things of that nature? Uh, growing up was pretty cool. Um, my parents pretty much been in, like divorced since I was a kid. So I always had two different households, mom, mom's crib, pop's crib. Um, everything pretty cool childhood, big family, real family oriented. Uh, I'm originally from Harvey, Illinois. Um, my dad usually always lived in Illinois. My mom always stayed in Indiana. So like, I was always like back and forth. Yeah. Uh, yeah, bro, but childhood, everything was cool. Um, I ain't really sure. Yeah, bro, just family, just friends. Chilling, yeah, child, I was, really. yeah, and I was a only child too, so like my crib was always the hot spot. Like you know what I'm saying, every weekend, like everybody in my crib, Nerf guns, like, all types yeah, of stuff. Yeah, like yeah. Um, so what made it? What made you decide to stay out here, like go to school out here instead of in Harvey? For those who don't know, I know like Harvey probably not the best like school system, but outside um, of that, like what made you come here? Uh, really more so my mom. So like, I want to say like third grade, I want to say like third, fourth grade, I moved to Griffin. So then that's when I started going to school out here in Indiana. I always went to school in Illinois before then, but I never went to school in like Harvey or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. um, but my mom really made the transition. She originally from Gary. So my pops from Harvey, my mom's from Gary. So she wanted to come out here. Uh, she ended up buying like her dad's old house. So we moved in there in the Griffin. So yeah. I pretty much been in the Indiana school system since then. And even in high school, I want to say, like, beginning of sophomore year, I moved back with my dad. And uh, I was living in Illinois, still going to Maryville. So oh, I had to make that drive. But, yeah. yeah, I've been in Indiana for a minute, bro. So I got, like, both sides. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's cool. I'm um, going into the fashion. Um, obviously, UG, something you created, mm -hmm. your brand. Is that something you always wanted to do, like, since you was a shorty, or it just kind of came one day? It kind of came one day, bro, if we being honest. Uh, as a shorty, I would say I really wasn't, like, passionate about nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I was always kind of, like, all around. Like, I was cool at this, good at this, good at this. Like, but what was I really great at? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even, like, when I ask uh, family members and stuff, like, you know, some people, when they kids, they know what they want to be. I want to be a doctor, lawyer. Mm -hmm astronaut whatever but nobody really can tell me like what i used to run around saying and so like i really never knew but in high school it kind of like found its way like you know what i'm saying me and my friends really how it started uh i kind of go into that too how it started we really just wanted to make some bread like dang how can we make some legal money like you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like everybody rocking with us we should be able to like benefit like you know what i'm saying off that so originally first we was going um like just start plugging people with shoes. You know how the culture was back in high school. So we was gonna plug people with shoes and then came up with the brand. They had already previously um, had like a little urban genius like group. So like after school they'd get fresh, take pictures and stuff like that. And then we just, uh, it was like Derek, Draylon them. So we kind of just took that and ran with it, made it into a brand. Next day we like, uh, I had graphic design made up a little logo, made some shirts just to see if people was rocking with it. People would. So that's kind of how it, like, all got started, like, back in high school. Who came up with that name? It was just a group effort or? Uh, I would say it was a group effort, but more so, I would say probably more so Derek came up with the name. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I always get credit when it's due. Yeah, Derek definitely sure. came up with the name. So high school, 
it's what that was about what 2012 so you've been doing about eight years now yeah i'll say uh i probably started like junior year so like probably like six years like you know what i'm saying we started in high school it was cool um like you know what i'm saying the little money that was coming from it like i was that was cool but it wasn't like serious so yeah. probably like 2016 2017 like around that time we was all in school and we like man we could really like let's name there take a few steps back and go back to that because we could really make some like bread off that like let's try to like really buckle down and like really tap in with that so like at that point it was uh me Draylon and Derek went ahead and got like all our legal stuff done first like LLC and everything so we'd be cool and then yeah. from there got it got the ball rolling so when you first started doing it um I know when I talked to Taiji he told me he do everything by hand so um was it the same for you or was it more of like print offs press ons or is it like legit growing up I'm stitching something together uh it's a mixture of both so like um and it's crazy him actually like bro we literally pretty i would say pretty much like started this together like not together but uh i want to say i'm two year a year or two older than him whatever but whatever he was in i think he was in the class as well so i think by the time i was in like the advanced class he was like in a regular class so i remember seeing him like make his first shirt and everything and like just to see where like he didn't came and like where i came like you know i got the thousand on now like you know what i'm saying Shout like, out bro. but to see like where he didn't came and why they came um it's real dope but to answer your question about like cutting sewing and all that other stuff it really just depends so like some shirts like i'll be at home and i'll like print them myself do the ink and everything some stuff i sew the tag on or you know what i'm saying manufacturer might do everything so it really just depends but like i like to do more hands-on as well because like of course you're gonna say bread like mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying doing a lot of stuff yourself but yeah. you can't do everything yourself as right. well so like you know what i'm saying it it work out both ways but i do a little bit of like both but as far as like everything that come out i'm not like hand sewing or like hand stitching nothing like that to be honest moving on you are still in college right now you say you go to bloom so i just graduated too oh just did graduated. You? yeah bro i just uh, graduated this past uh spring yeah oh, hey, hey, congrats bro i didn't Thank even know you, that for sure when you was in school did you find like it was a little more difficult to push your brand or do you feel like it helped more than it hurt uh personally i feel like it helped because um that's one reason why i left indiana state i just and no knock to indiana state but it was like a small school and it just it really wasn't for me and what I wanted, like, you know what I'm saying? I knew I wanted like a big brand and stuff like that. And I felt like I didn't have the reach that I needed. But down there, like, boom, 40,000 kids. You got different crowds, different mixes. So I felt like it definitely like helped even down to like in classes and stuff. Cause I went to school for fashion merchandising, which is like the business side. So mm -hmm. like, even in classes, like doing projects, most of my projects I can really do like on my own stuff and like people could really see like you know what i'm saying what's going on so i think being in school definitely helped because you got like more people to present it to like for sure yeah definitely um i saw you had like the fashion shows going on out there um tell me a little bit about that like how did that come about um and also i'm thankful to iu too but they have like a lot of different like opportunities so pretty much just like me pushing my brand me trying to push myself like people know i'm a good guy like see the work I put in. So it was a couple opportunities that presented themselves. So like um, one fashion show we had was through the Neil Marshall, which is like the Black Cultural Center. Mm -hmm. So like they invited me to do one of those fashion shows. Um, we did an international fashion show and that was like the first time they ever did that. And they invited me to do that to kind of um, shed light on like street culture, like street fashion and stuff like that. So I, it's been pretty cool, man. And they show like a lot of love down there too. Yeah. And, um, like even still like to this day like even with like just different pop-ups and events like that it's like it's a cool town that's really why i haven't moved back yet like you know what i'm saying i was gonna move back but i'm like that's a solid like foundation like you know what i'm saying before people like move and get big or whatever or whatever but you gotta have like a home base like mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like a solid base so i got like the region i got this area and then on top of that i got like the school too so i'm just trying to like pretty much grow that yeah and i think that's probably the best way to do it especially with fashion because like you said you're reaching 
two different bases mm -hmm. in two different places. So um, that's definitely big, like doing a fashion show. That's not like an everyday thing mm -hmm. you see, especially from uh, local creators. Um, who do you like to wear, bro? Like who are some of your biggest influences in fashion besides yourself? Besides myself, bro, if we being honest, as of lately, I really only been wearing like my homies' clothes, bro. Like I've been trying to clean out my closet, like designer pieces, cool, like be long, different stuff like that. But I really just been getting rid of like all of that stuff, bro. Trying to kind of get back to my my roots, I say, because like you know what I'm saying. I originally started with like just thrifting and just like different color clothes and different stuff like that, but. I like to get flea in my homie stuff, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I can, like, it's a difference between just trying to support, you know what I'm saying? Just to support, but, like, my homie's really putting out, like, quality products. Like, shout out, um, Thousand, Rocket Garçon, mm -hmm. and, uh, Keto. I mean, Urban Jeans, bro, like, on a daily, that's pretty much, like, even if you go through my Instagram for, like, the last little minute, that's all I've been wearing. Mm -hmm. But, um, I mean, other influences, like, Kanye West, uh, I've been doing some research on like Raph Simmons, um, really just trying to expand my knowledge because I feel like I, that's what I like in this is like knowledge, mm -hmm. like other overall. So I've been trying to like just find different creators, even if it's from the past, present or whatever, and just see what they did. You know what I'm saying? Take the knowledge and see how I can incorporate into what I got going on. And with the fashion thing, um, it seems like it's a little more together. You know, like you said, you, Thousand Rocket. It's not like how it is with the music industry, mm -hmm. you know, how it's like oh, some beef or he doing the same thing I'm doing. I really like how all y'all can connect as one. And we really trying to like change that culture, bro. Cause especially like around here, like you all, you know, all the time they say like Atlanta show love, mm -hmm. like everybody. I feel like around here, a lot of people like, I don't know, it's just like bad vibe. Like a lot of people like be hating, like really be wondering like why uh me and Taji can be so cool mm -hmm. like you know what i'm saying like wonder like how can we can coexist like yeah. you know what i'm saying i feel like they kind of want us to like beef, be beef or like have some animosity like nah we showing y'all like that you could really get further with love bro like mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like a lot of that hate is not gonna get you nowhere and it's like if i see him doing something i see anybody doing something that's gonna motivate me like you know what i'm saying dang he doing that let me get off my ass and go do something right. productive. Not like, man, you know what I'm saying? None of yeah. that. Yeah, bro. Facts. So speaking of motivation, what has been the biggest impact on you? Rather it's a person or event, what was like that one thing that made you like, I'm gonna take this shit for real and really push it? Uh, I really just say like more so the support I had and like people actually like seeing my vision. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like truly seeing it and really like truly believing in me. I say that was a motive, and then I saw the potential of it. Like you know, what I'm saying I truly saw like if I put in the work, I put in the time, like this can really go somewhere. Like this can take me and put me in a position where I want to be. Cause like I love fashion. Like at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, like I want to be a businessman. So like when you refer to me, like I want my title to be like you know all the business. Like you know what I'm saying, like mm -hmm. that. So I feel like this would be able to put me in a position to be a businessman and like also make a difference. But I feel like to make a difference, you need one, you need money and two, you need a voice. So yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? I, that's really just been my biggest motivation, bro. And trying to be better than I was yesterday. I find myself being like lazy a lot and like getting comfortable. So I just got to kind of like <laughs> stay on it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause nobody going to do the work, but you, and right. I like you got to motivate yourself at the end of the day. Yeah, definitely. What other things do you want to get into? outside of fashion uh i want to get into like real estate bro um a lot of stuff like even i guess like interior design um i want to do like furniture like just different stuff bro uh, but as far as like businesses i definitely want to like my goal is by next spring to have my own food truck like right now um shout out my homie core we doing like plates right now like out the mm -hmm. crib call yeah. it like genius plate so like that's like the stepping stone. So like, I don't know. I want my, like, my own food business, bro. Like own a little restaurant. Eventually want to get like a little nail salon. Like just different things. Yeah, like a little spot. All the ladies could come and have like an experience, sip some wine, get your toe, get everything done, bro. Right. Cause women spend a lot of bread on that um, stuff. Yeah, like definitely. hair, nails, man, like man, true. And that's definitely a different one that I haven't heard. But that's really smart though, because like you said, women, 
especially love to spend money on themselves. So you got different things going on, different avenues. You never know where it's gonna take you. As far as the fashion, what inspires your creations? Like what makes you wanna get in and just make something? Uh, really just my life, bro. Like I kind of try to just find, I mean, I feel like everybody say that, but just like draw inspirations from my life. So like I see some, I like watching movies and stuff like that. I'm trying to shy away from that, get more into like podcasts and informational stuff. But like, you know what I'm saying? See a movie. I like watching older movies. See an old movie. I like his feel what he got on. Dang, how can I make that better? Like, you know what I'm saying? Watch an old episode of Fresh Prince or something. See mm -hmm. something he got on. Yeah. Take a picture of it. Then get to the lab and try to create or like anything, bro. I just, I just feel like I always have to have a clear mind. So like, even if it's just, walking my dog around the block or something, clear my mind, fresh air, see something in there and try to go like put it at work. Do you ever struggle with uh, creator's block? Yeah, I do a lot. And it's more so not even like creative block, it's more so like me, like pretty much questioning my own creativity, which is stupid, but it's a part of the game. Like that's something I gotta definitely work on, but I've been getting better at it. I definitely struggle with that from time to time, but you just gotta, you can't think too hard. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You just gotta let things more so like come to you. Cause I found like when I see, see myself like trying to force stuff, that's when it never worked. I like, yeah. I feel like that happened to everybody though, just in different ways, but everybody has some form of creative block, like mm -hmm. whatever it may be. Um, So what, other things do you like to do? I know you mentioned that you're doing a place right now, and I'll be showing y'all that too because I've been seeing that. And you want to get into business, but your main thing is fashion right now. Like yeah. You're really pushing UG. But what else does Bill like to do outside of that? What else does Bill like to do? I like to go on walks. Like, I don't know. Since I've been down in Bloom, I done got like real nature -y. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of like forest preserves, waterfalls, and stuff. I like to go on walks. Um, Kiki with the homies, play the game, who uh this summer we did a lot, I did a lot of swimming this summer. Stand, just stand out really, bro. I know it's the corona and everything, but I really ain't been paying that no mind as much as I should. But I just I like to eat too. Like, bro, I love to eat. <laughs> Shoot. I like to go get something to eat, even if it's just like a little appetizer or something. I just like to eat. Um I don't really be on too much of nothing, bro. I like yeah. to really just be like chilling be around people I love and we really just be kicking it like they ain't there at the crib as of lately because everything that's been going on yeah. cookouts too but I just moved places so we haven't had a cookout at the new spot yet but like heavy this summer it was like heavy cookouts at the crib and just good vibes what's yeah. next for you bro like immediate goals future goals I know you got another pop-up coming up soon right mm -hmm. like two weeks or so but um yeah like what do you want what do you expect in the near future and then down the line. But you already kind of touched on that, so we just go near future. Um, Like you said, we got the pop-up coming up in a few weeks. Uh, Black Diamond Smoke Shop, shout out Kalem. Uh, we had one about a month or so ago, real good turnout, so we gonna do it again, close out the summer. Um, but in the near future, what I'm mainly focused on right now is like my fall collection and stuff like that. Uh, I really want this to be like I want the fall to pretty much be like a statement for me, bro. Cause like a lot of people see what I'm on. A lot of people respect what I'm on, but I feel like a lot of people got like doubts or they more so just waiting. Cause I don't drop as consistently as I feel like I should. So like for all the people, I want to be able to feed everybody. So everybody that's like waiting hungry for some like new UG, I really want to feed them with like quality pieces. So like this fall, really, I wanted to like, take me to a new level. Now I'm not saying I'm in Vogue magazine come the spring, but like, you know what I'm saying? I want people to know like, okay, like he dang that came hard with like some quality work. Like I want people to see like the growth and present growth and progression just through like, you know what I'm saying? What's been going on these last couple of years. Yeah. Um, what, what do you feel like has to happen for you to say like I'm successful now? Like, what is something, because everybody judge success differently. Mm -hmm. So, like, what is it to you? I know you said you want to come hard this fall, and but, like, what would validate that for you, though? It's, like, numbers or what? Um, Numbers would definitely validate it because, like, numbers definitely don't lie. But what would validate success for me 
is I would more so say um, me being consistent with it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, like, kind of put myself, like, on a schedule, like, so I can just be consistent with what I do and be good at what I do. So, like, getting orders out fast, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's satisfied with their product, good customer service, like, work on communicating with, like, customers and stuff more. And then overall, like, overall success not just based off this fall but i mean to take care of my mom like you know what i'm saying everybody want to make sure they og straight so yeah. you know what i'm saying make sure my mom don't got to really worry about nothing my pop's cool like he handled it all <laughs> but like you know what i'm saying make sure mom's cool and shoot that's really it my mom's my dog cool shoot i'm cool yeah i feel Where can we find you at bro i know a lot of my viewers probably already follow you mm -hmm. but for those who don't where can we find you at, bro? Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, at Undefeated Bell. U-N-D-F-T-D Bell. And then uh, the clothing page is at UG16. And that's on Instagram. Uh, follow them both. Show them both some love. You ain't got to show me no love. Show the UG page some love. But, yeah, man. You can find me there. And then two weeks uh, what is it? The 26th. Mm -hmm. We're going to have that big pop-up again. The Black Diamond Smoke Shop in Maryville. I'm going to be there. Taiji going to be there with Thousand. Uh, Fo going to be performing. Jordan performing. So it's going to be good vibes, bro. Last time they brought out the cars. Like, people was bringing out their whips. I mm -hmm. heard more people going to come out with that. And it was just, like, good fun environment. Like you said, like, we just showing y'all that you can get further with love. Like, you know what I'm saying? We, it's all love. We all coming together and working together. Like, nobody made it to the top by themselves. Legitimately. No. Like, nobody did. And we get further working together than sitting around trying to argue or something like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I think everybody come out, support that, show some love. It'll be cool. Good vibes. Uh, Mess around and talk to Taiji. Mess around and do like a throwaway or something. I mean, not a throwaway. A uh, giveaway. Get some people to come out. So, yeah. Definitely. Um, I'm going to try to uh, vlog that event, too. So, the last one was lit. Mm -hmm. Like, for real. Like, it was really crazy. But I was, like, really proud of y'all to see everybody come together. The biggest thing, like, it was a no violence, no hating. It was a straight positive straight violence. Straight love, bro. Like, even the police came. But they was like, just turn the music down. Like, what can they say? There's nothing negative going on. Just... Good vibe. This man that opened up a business, so he doing his thing, and all my homies we create, and he just gave us a platform to present what we got to offer. Yeah, facts. So definitely go follow, bro. I'm gonna have everything in the video in the description. Make sure y'all go show that some love. Continue to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Got me a bag and look at you calling me You said I ain't shit and I thought I was toxic How you fall for me?